Welcome everyone, my name is Leonid Altman and today I will show you how you can quickly set up a lighting for this scene. As you can see we have a can and a part of a table and a background. And all these things are positioned in quite balanced and harmonious way. It is because I shamelessly took this composition from this shot. This is a great shot by Carl Taylor, a famous photographer and also an educator who teaches classes on lighting in particular. So I highly recommend him for everybody who wants to really learn lighting. And today we will try to replicate this beautiful lighting setup. As you can see we have a background light and several lights positioned to illuminate a can. So, Let's start creating this lighting setup. First of all, let's temporarily hide our can and activate Cycles Renderer. Let's add our first light. Right-click, Light Operations, Add Light. Voila! We instantly have our light positioned the perfect angle to illuminate the exact spot we are aiming at, so just like that. Let's bring our light a little bit closer to the wall. Use Alt Wheel shortcut to do that, just like that. Let's narrow the light spread a bit. Control Wheel to do that, just like that. Now, I think that this light should be oriented towards the wall directly, so in order to do that we will use third positioning mode which is called direct mode, we hit 3 to activate it. And as you can see, now we have our light positioned strictly perpendicular to the wall. Let's bring about here and something like that. Maybe let's bring it a, bit, a little bit closer. No, too close. Bring back. I think what we can do here is to change the scale of the light. Shift wheel to do that. Something like that. Yes, I think this will work just fine for now. Let's bring back our can. Okay, now it is easier to work with our scene because we have our can separated from the background. Let's add second light. Right click, light operations, add light. I would show you here, just like that. Hit tab to enter interactive mode. Let's bring our light closer to the object. Alt will. Just like that. Increase the intensity by using mouse wheel. As you can see, for now we have our light position at an angle to the can and that's why we have this light's edge not really parallel to the can's edge so in order to get those two lines parallel we need to position our light perpendicular to the can or in other words we should al align our light vertically so hit 3 to switch to direct mode and just like that we have our light positioned perfectly vertical I think we can bring our light even closer to the can use alt will let's increase intensity using mouse wheel okay perfect what do we got here as you can see here the author used a beautiful gradient effect and we have just a plain uniform light okay but actually it's not quite uniform already because by default the light wrangler add-on uses this screen customization mode which is replaces the default lighting emission with a black body emission node setup and also it uses 
some kind of a gentle light feathering effect. Let me show you what I mean. Let's activate rendering. As you can see, we have these edges not perfectly sharp. For example, if we switch back to default Blender lighting mode, you will see that not only we have this lifeless plain white RGB emission, but we also have these unrealistically sharp edges. So, let's switch back to our screen mode and you can see how instantly we have more flattering and realistic light. You see? Default light. Screen light. Okay. Uh, but we still need our gradient here. With Light Wrangler, creating gradients is as easy as it gets. Just use horizontal tilt slider to create a horizontal gradient, just like that. Look, beautiful gradient, beautiful professional premium lighting, just one click. That's awesome. Yes, yes, this is a shameless plug, but sorry guys, I really want my add-on to gain more exposure because I really want to speed up the development process. So, yeah, that's why I record in these videos to not only teach you some lighting techniques, but also show you how you can vastly cut up the setup time to improve your efficiency. So, what do we got here? We do have this beautiful gradient, but if you will look closer, you will see that this gradient is not only horizontal, but also vertical. So we have the brightest spot, something around here, and then the light gradually decreasing in all directions. So let's bias our gradient a little bit to the top, just like that. I think that too much, maybe something like that. Okay, as you can see, just in a few clicks we replicated this light. Very easy. Let's add our second light. Just like that. Move it closer by using Alt wheel. Bring intensity and also add a gradient just like that what do you think i think it already looks quite flattering but now we need to deal with this dark spot let's add third light frontal light just like that Let's hold Shift H to isolate this light and see its effect in isolation, just like that. Let's bring it closer using Alt wheel. Add a little bit of brightness, something like that, maybe too much. Let's make it bigger just like that okay what do you think i think it's great it's already great so yeah we're done here guys <laughs> i think we're done just like that very easy very intuitive one minor th thing is that we need to bring our droplets to make our scene even more realistic, I should say. Beautiful. So that's it. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next one.